Hello, I'm Pete And we're the instructors of the Essential Rainwater Harvesting course. Today we're answering your questions about rainwater. So our first question, Peter, a writer or a reader has uh, emailed me and asked, why should I harvest rainwater? I already have a, a water supply via the municipal supply. And this could also apply to a groundwater well. It just seems expensive to add what would be a redundant water source. What's in it for me? What's in it for the environment? Why should I do this? What's your quick answer to that? A quick answer, Michelle. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Well, I wouldn't consider a, a distributed water source, rainwater or saving water at a, at a local scale to be redundant at all. Um, having local supply of water actually takes the, the pressure off our waterways um, and makes our centralised utility water supplies more secure, it protects our river systems um, with rainwater harvesting, improves the water quality in your catchments or watersheds. So what's in it for you? It depends on the pricing regime of your utility, if you also have utility supply. So the first, first point is you'll be using water locally when it's available. Um, you will know that you're actually reducing your impacts on your environment and the rest of your society and reducing the risk of your um, society's utility water resource being um, at, at greater risk of failure. Um, you also be making a local response to uh, climate change, loss of habitat and biodiversity um, by, by managing rainwater at source. So when you build an urban property or a peri-urban property or a property anywhere, you create these hard surfaces, which, which creates additional runoff that would not be there in the first instance. So it changes the natural flow regime um, and that disrupts habitat and, and environmental processes around you. But by taking water at source via rainwater harvesting, it's far more efficient from your impervious hard roof surfaces that don't have very significant losses that your uh, river or watershed catchments do. Um, so almost everything that falls on your roof can be harvested in your rainwater storage, whereas often far less than half, usually far less than 70 or 80 percent of what falls on your watershed doesn't actually end up in your end of line water supply situation. So the efficiency of what you're doing locally is far greater than um, centralized harvesting. Mm -hmm. And what, what about the, you know, it just seems expensive. Any comment on that? Um, yes. So it's, we've got a really interesting dichotomy at the moment. If it's a utility supply, <laughs> we're not counting all of the infrastructure costs that the utility um, has to levy tariffs and taxes by the state on, on citizens. So you'll get a, a water charge or tariff, which will be a usage rate, but that only be a small proportion of the true infrastructure costs. Um, what, why I say dichotomy, because interestingly, we're required to count every single item in nut or bolt or, or, or whatever that is involved in installing a rainwater harvesting system, and that's a cost, but we only use a very small part of the costs of supplying centralised supply in the comparison. So how do, what's in it for you? Well, the most immediate thing that people focus on is the amount of water you save or use locally from rainwater harvesting is the water you're not buying from the utility. And that will depend on the the narrow price, usage price that you're charged, tariff. And that's not the full cost of utility supply. The other parts of utility supply 
impact on you indirectly via taxes and rates and charges that are nothing to do with water. So, um, and how, so in the, the longer run, if you have more efficient households that are using far less water, it means the cost of running your utilities will be far less over time. It means therefore governments will levy lesser prices, fixed charges and usage charges on your house. So, um, so immediately you'll be saving a small amount of uh, usage charges times the volume saved. In the longer run, you'll be saving money via the, um, the reduced tariffs and taxes because in the longer run, if lots of houses save water in this way, the price of the uh, tariffs for water paid for the whole of society will be less. Mm -hmm. and, and just to talk about the scenario where you're on acreage or farm, it'd be quite typical here to have a brown water well. Any thoughts on the what's in it for me if I already have a groundwater well compared to municipal supply? The first thing is the uh, your rainwater supply is going to be in, infinitely cleaner than your groundwater supply. Yeah. And I, I know I've seen some quite interesting commentary around this in the literature and, and in opinion, but um, rainwater supply from your roof um, is, is going to be a cleaner, more easier to manage supply than from a well in your groundwater that's impacted on by whatever's happening in the, you know, the pastures and catchments above it. Um, it. The thing to be careful about, if you're continually drawing down groundwater via your wells, and everyone does that, you're actually drawing down the groundwater level um, and groundwater takes a long time to replenish, whereas in rainwater harvesting, it's immediately falling on your roof. It's relatively clean and easy to manage, and you're not drawing down the groundwater. So it's a mistake, if I could say it that way, that's been made in Australia. It's out of sight, out of mind. Everyone takes water out of wells, and all of a sudden we have groundwater wells being drawn down and down and down, and it's not being replenished because so, so much is taken from groundwater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to almost think, um, think a little bit more globally. But there, there, would you not say there's also a direct benefit from pumping costs? I mean, groundwater wells, it takes a lot of energy to pump water and to lift water any, any considerable height. Right, so that's the one that comes to mind for me. Pumping and filtration mm -hmm. costs from groundwater mm -hmm. um, can be quite substantial. Obviously, the deeper you go, the more expensive it is. Mm -hmm. um, and relative to harvesting off your roof of rainwater with a small pump, if necessary, mm -hmm. properly installed, obviously, and properly set up, um, the, the energy costs and the treatment costs of your rainwater system are going to be considerably less. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Peter. Mm -hmm.